Your president in Washington sends word that he wishes to buy our land. But how can you buy or sell the sky, the land? This idea is strange to us. If we do not own the freshness of the air or the spark of the water, then how can you buy them? Each part of this earth is sacred to my people. Every shining pine needle, every sandy shore, every mist in the dark woods, every meadow, every humming insect, all are holy in the memory and experiences of my people. We know the sap that courses through the trees as we know the blood that courses through our veins. We are a part of the earth and it is part of us. The perfumed flowers are our sisters. The bear, the deer, the great eagle, these are our brothers. The rocky crests, the juices in the meadow, the body heat of the pony, and the human all belong to the same family. The shining water that moves from the streams and rivers is not just water, but the blood of our ancestors. If we sell you our land, you must remember that it is sacred. Each ghostly reflection in the lake tells of memories and the life of my people. So you must give to the rivers the kindness you would give to any brother or sister. If we sell you our land, remember that the air is precious to us, that the air shares its spirit with all of the life it supports. The wind that gave our grandfather his first breath also receives his last sigh. The wind also gives our children the spirit of life. Will you teach your children what we have taught our children, that the earth is our mother? What befalls the earth befalls all the ones of earth. This we know. The earth does not belong to us. We belong to the earth. All things are connected like the blood that unites us all. The human did not weave the web of life. We are merely a strand of it. Whatever we do to the earth, we do to ourselves. We love this earth, as a newborn loves its mother's heartbeat. So if we sell you our land, love it as we have loved it. Care for it as we have cared for it. Hold in your memory the land as it is when you receive it. Preserve the land for all children and love it as God loves us all. As we are part of the land, you too are a part of the land. As the earth is precious to us, so it must be precious to you. One thing we know, there is only one God. We are brothers and sisters, children of our Mother Earth, after all. Hey, hey, hey.